Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Problem 55, chapter 23, Gauss law. Let me read out the problem. A charge distribution that has uh, that is spherically symmetric uh, but not uniform radially produces an electric field of magnitude E equal to kr to the power 4. Okay, kr to the power 4. So, field uh, is given, field magnitude is kr to the power 4. k is some constant. Uh, directed radially outward that means charge is positive uh, from the center of the sphere here r is the radial distance from that center and k is a constant what is the volume uh, density rho of the charge distribution so charge density is what we have to find out which were already uh, uh, told that is not uniform okay that is not uniform so what i'll do here is Suppose this yellow one represents all of the spherical uh, charge distribution. I'm considering a smaller shell within that of radius r and thickness dr. Okay, radius r and thickness dr. Let's suppose uh, at this point, which is at a radial distance r, density is rho of r. We know it is not uniform, but is having radial symmetry, spherical symmetry. Okay. So at all these points within this shell density will be same because r is same okay r is same see what we are told a charge distribution that is spherically symmetric but not uh, uh, uniform uh, radially produces so uh, charge density is not uh, uh, uniform but is spherically symmetric that simply means charge density only depends on r okay is only function of r so at all these points, uh, uh, density will be same. Charge density will be same. So what is charge within this shell? Okay, what is charge within this shell? Uh, charge within the shell, within this shell. Okay, within this shell, that will be uh, dQ is equal to charge density rho of r into volume. Volume is four pi r squared into thickness dr. That is uh, surface area four pi r squared into thickness dr. So this is charge within this smaller shell, okay, within this smaller shell. Within this smaller shell means this part, okay, this part. Then what is total charge within the sphere of radius R? Sphere, shell is only this part, this thickness, red part. And when, when I say sphere of radius R, that includes all this part, all, all this space, okay. So charge within the shell of radius r within the sphere of radius r will be simply integration of this thing so that will be 4 pi integration of rho of r into r squared dr now what i'll do is i'll use uh, gauss law okay i'll use gauss law gauss law tells us integral e dot da which is da cos of theta is equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon zero now, since there is the spherical symmetry, so E uh, for any spherical surface, let's consider this as Gaussian surface, will be same at all points. E comes out, cos of 0, angle will be 0, spherical symmetry again, cos of 0 is 1. Integration of dA, 4 pi r squared is equal to 1 by epsilon 0. Q enclosed is 4 pi integration of, 4 pi integration of rho of r, and then uh, r squared dr r squared dr remember we have to find out we have to find out this row of r but row of r is lying within the integral sign and integration is with respect to r so in order to get it out of integration what i'll do is i'll differentiate all this equation with respect to r this is integration with respect to r, I'll differentiate it with respect to r. Now remember, differentiation and integration are reverse processes. So if I, uh, if integration already exists and I differentiate it, differentiation and integration will simply cancel out. So, uh, and 4 pi and 4 pi also cancels out. So I'll differentiate on both sides with respect to r. So this becomes d by dr of e r squared is equal to r. Instead of e, I'll directly write down where given what e is equal to e is equal k r to the power 4 k r to the power 4 then this r square is there which is already there 1 by epsilon 0 is constant d by dr of integration of rho of r into r squared dr now uh, 
दिस थिंग इज ए आर टू द पावर सिक्स सो के सिक्स आर टू द पावर फाइव इज एक और डिफरेंस है इसमें इंटीग्रेशन कैंसल आउट सो दिस कम्स वन बाय एप्सलॉन जीरो रो ऑफ आर इंटू आर स्क्वेड ओके डिफरेंस है इसमें इंटीग्रेशन कैंसल आउट so we can find out row of r here now uh, something cancels out r squared and 2 will have r cube only here so row of r is equal to row of r epsilon 0 upstairs so we have 6k epsilon 0 r cube 6k epsilon 0 r cube so this is charge density of the spherical charge distribution okay it is only function of r Six is constant, k is constant, epsilon zero is constant. So density is only function of r, the radial distance. Six k epsilon zero r cube is. So that is the uh, problem number fifty-five, uh, and that is all I'll be doing with chapter twenty-three Gauss law. There are some more problems in this chapter which are under under the title of additional problems. So those additional problems, as was as has been our practice in chapter twenty one and twenty two, I'll leave those additional problems for you. So meaning ne next we'll be taking a new chapter, chapter twenty four, which is regarding electric potential. Okay. So all the best with that. That'll do for this session.